wish you all a happy and uh, prosperous uh, new year and uh, i wish you all the success uh, for whatever you're trying to achieve uh, this year i just want to spend a few moments uh, talking about i was able to prepare and uh, finally pass the aws uh, solutions architect exam um, so i have a good technical background um, so this exam wasn't too complicated uh, but still i just want to share the best way to uh, prepare for this exam um, so that you can retain this knowledge um, that might uh, help you get the certification as well as um, you can use this knowledge uh, for your work purposes as well. So let me quickly jump onto my uh, browser and show you the resources I used. So this is the uh, course I used uh, for this exam. Uh, Adrian Cantrell uh, is very popular uh, in the AWS community. Uh, I believe he used to be in uh, Cloud Guru, but um, right now he's doing his own courses. Um, as you can see, uh, he has a, a lot of uh, different uh, courses um, based on what you see here. Um, so this course is the one course I would um, I, I took for this exam. And uh, typically, my go-to resource uh, is Udemy, right? I mean, there is um, many people may be familiar with Udemy, uh, which is like ten dollars. And um, I've taken a lot of courses there. Um, I binge watch courses. Um, but the reason I'm putting this uh, video together is. Uh, though I've taken a lot of uh, courses, uh, it is hard for me to retain uh, whatever I uh, studied using those materials. And um, so I just wanted to change um, whatever I was doing so that I can uh, retain this uh, knowledge uh, for the long run. And then also it will help me uh, while I'm doing my day to day job. So this course um, is a pretty uh, detailed and uh, thorough course. So you not only uh, help you with uh, your certification. Uh, but also it will help you uh, in um, getting a deeper knowledge on a different AWS architecture and why you did things in a certain way. So this course, um, uh, take a look at it. I strongly recommend this course. Um, so if this is one site. I think it was done by one of his uh, students. Uh, it's a very, very helpful site. And it talks about how long each uh, courses are. So for example, um, so there are different courses here. Uh, so this course is the one I took, which is 63 hours. Uh, so this is not for the faint of heart, right? I mean, 64 hours, um, you may think it's a lot of time to invest, uh, but think about it. This is uh, for your career choice. Um, a, a good time spent in this uh, could change your life, right? I mean, a good certification in the cloud uh, could, could keep you employed for the next uh, 5, 10, 15 years uh, because cloud is not going to go anywhere. So getting this knowledge uh, is uh, very, very important. And uh, when you're preparing for this, uh, you want to do it in using the right resources. So the way I did is, uh, so this uh, site also talked about the different sections and how long is each section. So, so the way I did it is, I mean, it's totally 64 hours and um, I was able to easily comprehend uh, whatever he was talking at uh, 1.5x speed, right? Like 1.5, instead of 2x, I just wanted 1.5x. So let me bring my calculator. So if I do that, so it is um, 64 hours uh, divided by... 1.5 so it comes to around 42 hours so if you can spend uh, two hours or one hour i mean um, so i was able to uh, do two hours uh, easily every day so that um, so the first thing i wake up in the morning this is what i do i mean i wake up at seven o'clock uh, seven to nine i just try to knock out two hours uh, and then so you can finish this whole course in 21 hours but um, I didn't stop there, right? Um, I wanted to, like I said, my goal was to retain the knowledge and certification is this um, a byproduct of um, because I'm preparing for this course. So while I was watching each and every um, lecture, uh, which is anywhere on average 10 minutes, like 12 minutes. Um, so on pretty much everything is like less than 15 minutes. Uh, as and when I watch at um, 1.5 speed, um, I started taking notes. Um, I wouldn't recommend uh, typing it, uh, but I would recommend taking handwritten notes. Uh, this is my digital notepad, but you can just use a pencil and a paper or notebook uh, to take the notes. And um, so for each video, I would recommend doing a one page, um, either a mind map style notes or some kind of a bullet points, whichever works for you. So again, um, writing it down really helps and uh, based on my 20 years experience, um, this has changed uh, how I do things um, these days. And um, so, and again, before you go to the next video, 
take a quick glance at that and then I mean watch the next video and repeat the process and um, the next day whenever you begin the new lecture wherever that is uh, I would again quickly glance at your notes uh, because since you handwritten these notes uh, it, it comes to you quickly again you you have to experience this uh, in order to um, know what I'm talking about and uh, that doesn't come with um, typed notes right I mean if you're using a computer having some notebooks on the computer or even printed notes uh, you're not going to get the same experience so when you go to the next um, uh, lecture just take a quick notes and then uh, keep repeating this process on a daily process so each every, every day uh, you kind of keep um, like reinforcing whatever you learned right um, I mean if you feel like you missed out on something I mean go back to the videos and watch it one time again this is the goal for you is to learn the material than getting certified but trust me you will get certified because you do this process and um, after I finished all these courses doing this lab videos I mean my goal was to do it in like 20 20 20 days right so that so every day uh, I did this religiously and I was able to finish the whole course uh, and then review my notes um, like what I've been talking about here and um, and I did one more thing I mean if you have time you can do that um, so I watched the whole thing at 2x speed so the whole course is uh, 42 hour um, so it was 63 hours and by two it's like 30 hours so I kind of binge watched uh, in like uh, six days so I mean I wanted to get this knowledge um, in, in my memory right so I just wanted I just binge watched for six six days and um, and with my headphones on because I mean at 2x speed it's going to be really fast uh, but since you already seen this video taking notes you look the videos uh, one more time um, it, it, all the materials whatever is talking you may get a piece um, uh, here and there and um, so you, these this knowledge is going to help you uh, when you do the exams as well so once you do that the second resource uh, I would um, recommend is the tutorial dojo and it was uh, recommended by him uh, Adrian and also by many people in the community um, so these are like it's pretty cheap it's 15 bucks uh, but there's like timed exams um, I mean uh, review mode section board so you can take this uh, quizzes and see how you fare and there are certain sections which um, you may not be doing so well uh, you can go back to your notes or go back to the video or go back to AWS resources and see how you can learn so once you get like around 70 to 80 percent on these exams um, then you're ready to sit for the exam so this is um, a long process but again um, I, I would strongly strongly recommend you to do this process uh, so at the end of 30 to 40 days um, you're going to be in a zone which uh, you're going to be have, thinking like you have the superpower I mean you kind of remember uh, whenever you see an exam question uh, you're going to your mind is going to go to your notes and then you're going to answer it real quick and also uh, this is going to help in your day-to-day -day job which is the most important thing certification tells you that you have this certified uh, but it doesn't prove anything uh, so you, uh, if you can use this knowledge um, on your work or if you can use this to create any cool projects in AWS uh, that is where uh, you should um, focus more on again um, this is um, uh, sorry for the rambling uh, this is I uh, hope this is helpful and I hope you can uh, pick up uh, a pointer or two and then uh, please um, send me uh, some comments and see what you think and if you really pass the exam also I mean I would um, like to know and we can um, try to um, I mean you can you can ask me any questions if you need okay and uh, good luck to all of you and then um, I will come back with uh, more videos on AWS pretty soon have a good day